Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Wednesdays are for fashion and Sundays are for vlogs. I hope you're already subscribed, but today we are diving into a fashion video because it is Wednesday. And this is one of my favorite videos to create season by season. It helps me shop my closet. It helps me think of new combinations to wear during the season ahead. And it helps me get a little bit creative with what I already have. This is my wardrobe 10 by 10 for fall. Now, of course I have more than just these pieces in my wardrobe, but I highly encourage you to take on this challenge. And sometimes you can come up with even more than 10 actual outfits. So for this one specifically, it was a bit tricky because I decided, you know what, Amanda? You are gonna leave out two of the pieces you always include in your fall and winter 10 by 10s. And the first one was vegan leather pants. And the second one was a roll neck. Now I am actually wearing a piece in the 10 by 10 right now, but technically, technically it's not a cream roll neck which is very specific. So I'm gonna introduce you to each and every piece as well as the one bag, because for a 10 by 10, we're not switching all our stuff out of our bag. The one bag that will also be included. Let's get started. Quick thing, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would love to have you a part of the fam and to see you on Sundays for some catch-ups, girl hangs, and just some vlogs. We never know where it's gonna take us, but let's talk bags in the moment. Okay, so this bag is from a company called Teddy Blake. I've worked with them before where they've sent me a bag and this is no different. I reached out to them this time because I loved their bags so much. Let me show you the first one actually. Are you a sucker for garment bags? I just think it elevates style so much. So I'm gonna show you the one that I already own. This is a Teddy Blake bag that was absolutely perfect for the spring and summer. And I think you could definitely wear this and pull this off in the fall and winter as well, but it really does scream the spring and summer to me. The reason why I love these bags, this one's called the Kim. The reason why I love these bags is because they are real, genuine Italian leather, Italian craftsmanship. They are absolutely luxury quality without the luxury price tag. I can't tell you how good I feel when I carry a Teddy Blake bag. The stitching and all of the hardware on these bags is insane. So this is my one that I've had already. Now let's introduce the baby that will be the bag for the fall and winter. I am blown away by the color and the quality. This one also has a zip on the back. And in some B-roll shots, I'll just show you some cutaways of this bag specifically and all of the details. I haven't even taken the tag off because I wanted to show you guys first. The first time I wore out the Kim, I was going out with a bunch of girlfriends and I got so many compliments that night. I can't wait to wear this one. So this one is called the Ava and this is the 11 inch bag. And I simply just cannot wait to style it up. So this is the bag you're gonna be seeing with all of the outfits and I will leave all the details down below because I also have a little promo code if you are interested in investing in a genuine Italian leather bag for your winter and fall wardrobes. The great thing about the Ava as well as the Kim and a lot of the bags from Teddy Blake is they have a top handle as well as a shoulder strap. So I'm gonna be showing you a specifically how versatility in just that one element can add to different outfits in this 10 by 10. So let's talk about the pieces in this 10 by 10. So quickly running through the 10 pieces in the 10 by 10, I've already mentioned that this sweater is a part of it. This is a part of the H&M Conscious Collection and I had kind of discounted or pushed away dark colored knits. For the most part, I love a black turtleneck. I think we all know that here if you've been here for some time, but a dark colored knit, I always would just opt for the cream color as mentioned earlier. And I just think this is the most elegant. I think a color like this is definitely timeless. I love that there's two little slits on the side, so there's options for tucking this in or leaving it out, which we will discuss further in this video. Next up are these jeans just from H&M. Some of my favorite jeans come from Cezanne as well as H&M, and a dark wash is incredible for a 10 by 10. We have this jacket. Now immediately you're like, okay, she said she wanted a color in this 10 by 10, and there it is. This is a little tweed slash denim jacket from Karen Millen. I don't know what it was about it, but when I saw it, I just saw Emily in Paris, and I love it so much. I think it is really, really beautiful. However, this is going to take some very specific styling to look really good. Next, we have this nautical nod of a sweater from Zara. This one is a bit oversized and has a navy as well as quite the strong cream running through it. I love the rib detail around not only the cuffs and the bottom, but also the top. 
And I think it's a really simple piece that can be very versatile whether you scale this up or you dress it down on days where you just want to be cozy inside. This is an item I have coveted for so, so long, and it is one of the classics from Cezanne. Now, if you get any piece from Cezanne, this may be the place to start if you've never purchased from there before. This is in their ivory tone. There's pearlescent buttons and a little cardigan. Do you have a cardigan in your wardrobe? I find that this is one piece that I'm definitely lacking. I have a lot of pullovers, but zip ups and cardigans, not so much. I can't wait to show you how I style this. And it is so soft and so lovely a perfect addition to my fall and winter wardrobe. Now I actually kind of already mentioned something like this, a black turtleneck. The versatility of having a white and a black turtleneck in your wardrobe, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. I love this one from Zara just for the fact that it has these gold buttons down the sleeve and it is the perfect thickness, so, so easy to layer. Pieces seven and eight are actually this suit that I purchased from Shauna Joy. Now, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I'll link those down below as well. You'll have already seen this suit. I am so in love with the color of this as well as the quality. We do not have to leave color at the door when it comes to the following cooler seasons. And this blue is just the perfect blue that also kind of slides in as a neutral. Because I left out my vegan leather pants and I did include a jean, which I am so happy about that it's a dark wash, I also wanted to include a classic trouser. So this trouser, I believe it's called the Dan trouser from Cezanne and a lot of them are sold out, but I'll link it because they often bring these styles that are so classic back and Cezanne will also have different styles that kind of look similar to the ones before, but this pair of pants is stunning. I love the color buttons. I love the two pockets and it is so long as a five, seven, five, seven and a half tall woman. I need to get these altered and you will see that unless I'm wearing heels, which I will likely do for the try on session, just so it's not scraping the ground along with the Shauna Joy trousers, actually. I wanted to start with showing you some color and I also wanted to end with it. I want this 10 by 10 not to be something boring as I've already mentioned. This is a skirt from Zara and it is also following one of the trends, which is maxi skirts for the season ahead. I think this trend is so fun. Now I am keeping my eye out because I would love to have a maxi denim skirt, but we'll save that for another day. I know that is quite Marmite. Some are gonna love it, some are gonna hate it. But for this one, there are so many different colors and I wanna show you how a bold pattern like this can still look extremely chic and elegant. And my ultimate goal for a 10 by 10 when I'm putting together these pieces is to be able to find outfits that are good for going out on date night or with the girls, cozy inside, doing work from home, or going to the office. And I know this skirt is gonna help us get there. This next little bit is going to be voiced over. I am with you every step of the way. Let's figure out what outfits we can make in this 10 by 10 and maybe even push the boundary past 10 outfits. Okay, so starting out with the first look, which you guys have already kind of already seen with this turtleneck and the jeans, I feel like this is just the perfect outfit to throw on and go run your errands, but still feel put together. And then adding in the camel tone bag, I think just warms up the outfit really nicely. You'll notice the rest of the outfits are filmed differently. I really got a style as we went here. I love camel with a nautical look. I just think, it's so timeless and so classic. And with the jeans, this is the more casual look with this nautical sweater. Such another easy one to go and run errands. Now, next up, I'm starting to bring in the trouser and showing you how I am styling these trousers. Now, as you note, and as I noted earlier, these definitely need tailored, but the way that the waist sits is so beautiful. And because the blue is so soft, the softness in the sweater, I just think this is such a feminine, beautiful, beautiful look. Now to take it a little bit away from that feminine softness and to add a little bit of maybe masculinity in a darker color, and as well some versatility if you're not used to wearing winter whites, this sweater also shows a little versatility with the blue pants. I tucked in the front flap under my bra to create that really beautiful tuck and I will 100% wear that outfit. This is where I'm starting to incorporate the little jacket. And I think out of all of them, there's two with the little jacket I know I'm going to wear, but I think out of all of them, this one, 
is like a seven out of 10. I do like the way that this looks and I love the way that the white looks under the jacket. So that is definitely a winner. Plus the Navy running through the jacket with the pants. Okay, bring on the suit life. I am so here for this vest and I can't wait to figure out other ways to wear it. When I purchased it, actually, I was envisioning wearing a turtleneck underneath it. And I think a white turtleneck and a black turtleneck or even a dark gray would look amazing with this suit will wear again. This is the outfit that I'm the most proud of in this 10 by 10 because this was actually the last one that I created, but I wanted to put it in the middle a little bit sooner because I love it so much. I think it is so beautiful, so classic, a little skinny Loewe belt thrown in there adds a bit of a waistline and just the length of how everything is and not having to tuck in the sweater was so key. I also wanted to show you a couple of clips of the sweater on top of the skirt, which is totally valid just without the belt. The belt, I think, really pulls it together though. A very classic look, the trouser and the pant, both of these from Cezanne and they just work so effortlessly together. I'm not gonna lie, I've already worn this look out. So tried, tested and true, I love it. Plus warming it up once more with the camel bag. I think it's just a great accent touch. And they just are, I don't know, these are pieces that you can mix and match so much as tested within this 10 by 10. Keeping the Dan trouser on and the navy obviously matching the navy in this sweater. I love this one. I wanted to show you with it not tucked as well as tucked and a little sleeve cuff. This is one I am picturing Parisian vibes and I am loving it with the skirt as well as the turtleneck. This is more of a late night date night look, I think. I mean, if you are willing to wear a turtleneck on a date night, I know I am. I just feel really elegant when I wear it. And then warming it up with the bag and the skirt really kind of brings in a fun tone for that outfit. Okay, we're on to the extras because that was actually outfit number 10. We are flying. This is extra number 11. And this is one I don't think I would wear. I just wanted to show you anyways, because sometimes when you're putting together a 10 by 10, the fun of it is actually trying on different methods of mixing everything together. So with the white, I don't think it worked. With the black, I think we're kind of getting somewhere. However, there is navy running through the jacket. So I think almost the best way to wear this jacket would almost to be a, do a monochromatic navy on navy and then throwing the jacket over top and then having a quite sympathetic boot and maybe not even this color bag. Last but not least, this is one I'm surprised I didn't add in. I would say that this is a strong number 11 to this 10 by 10, but number 13, just because those two weren't exactly winners. I wanted to show you how having staples and having neutral colors in your wardrobe are so easy to mix and match. We've got navy, we've got black, we've got gray, we've got camel. And for some reason, I personally think it all just works. And that's why building a capsule wardrobe is an awesome place to start. So those are all my looks from my 10 by 10. I hope that you found some that you actually liked. I most certainly did. And I now am getting so excited to style different things up in my own wardrobe for fall and winter and to find some of those combinations with color and neutrals and some timeless style as well. If there were any outfits you liked, please do let me know down in the comments down below. I would love to start a conversation there. And I hope that you're feeling inspired by your own fall and winter wardrobe, and maybe you'll take on the 10 by 10 challenge as well. Please do give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Just tells YouTube that, hey, people like this girl's channel. It helps me so much and subscribe to become part of the fam. And without further ado, I'll see you on Sunday. Bye guys.